God. Why? Stop. Stop. I have this fan on and it's like blowing. It's giving me what I need because my room is so hot without the AC on. But it's still trying to disrupt my process right now. Stop disrupting my process. How are you today? It's your girl Nelly Lee being authentically me. Period. How are you? How are you feeling today on this kind of cloudy day? I'm actually filming and editing in the same day. So God bless my soul because I really know how to procrastinate to the last minute, okay? Today we are going to be discussing why you need to stop, stop comparing your process. I kind of touched pace, pace. I kind of touched base on this in my um, confidence video, you know, shameless plug. Where we said the act of comparison can steal your joy. It can steal your joy from your process and it can steal your joy from yourself. When you allow yourself to start comparing your process to what someone else's journey looks like, you are robbing yourself of the joy that you deserve to feel about your personal journey. I'm going to say that again. When you compare your process to someone else's journey or what someone else's process looks like, you are robbing yourself. You are taking your own personal joy from the value of your journey, your personal story, your personal process. A lot of the times we wake up every morning and the first thing that we normally do, if you're trying to be a good Christian like me, you may start praying, but sometimes I don't even pray in the morning. So I'm, like, Shh, I'm telling my pastor. <laughs> you wake up in the morning and the first thing you do is grab your phone. You grab your phone and immediately you start looking at your Instagram, you start looking at your Snap, you start looking at YouTube, and you see all these different things. And as you're scrolling, you get to see each person's life and what they posted and wow, how did she get that? And how did he grow here? And why does his business look like that? And why is my business not here? And how does she, how, 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 how? And you're constantly putting these comparisons between that person's life and your life between how that person was able to have the come up real quick and how you're still here like two years in and it's like where like where's where's my come up where's my come up where's my come up and I used to struggle with that a lot because I was bullied in school a lot of people didn't say the nicest things about me because I was always very high energy very bubbly the way that you see me that the way you guys see me as now and a lot of people didn't really know what to do with me so a lot of the time I found myself saying well why can't I just be like her or why can't I make everyone laugh like him like why does everyone not like me like what what can I change about myself or what can I change about the way that I'm going about things to make me like that person wake up stop stop let me stop you right there just stop who you are and what you bring to the table does not lose value according to how others perceive that person. Your value does not diminish based on how successful you are or where you're at in your process or how further along that person got than you even though they started after you or even though they started before you. It does not matter. Your value does not diminish because of that. And what we sometimes we don't like to hear about a process and we don't really want to pay attention to is that our process is needed. It is needed. Each person is designed according to the plans that God has for them. That's to say there is purpose to your process. Let me say it again. There is purpose to your process. When we look at somebody else's life and we say, why didn't I get to that place the same way that they got to that place? It's because it's a different purpose that they have designed to them. That doesn't mean that your purpose is any less. That doesn't mean that their purpose is more important. It just means that the way to you getting what God has designed for you just looks different. We have different characteristics about ourselves and different things about our personality that make us who we are. And there's certain things that we don't get in the moment that we want it because God knows what would happen if we had it in this moment right now. 
there is a, a leveling and a stepping stool that he uses to get us to that place that when we are at that place, we are ready to receive it and expound it and make it even greater and multiply it the way that he has planned it because we went through the process. Do, do you guys understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. And even if sometimes a market that you're trying to get into or an area where you're trying to move into, you're like, I can't do it because it's oversaturated or I can't be like the top person in this domain. That does not matter. Do you want to know why that doesn't matter? Because that person doesn't have what you have. And what you have is who you are, your own uniqueness, your own gifts, your own talents. Those are the things that shine brighter than anything else that you're selling. It's who you are and the person behind it that makes it grow to that point. Who cares if the market is oversaturated? Who cares if this person already tried it already? Who cares if this one contributed to that first? What you bring to the table is a completely different ball game. It's a different ball game. It's a different ball game. Period! Do you understand that? It's a different ball game. Stop using someone else's journey and someone else's process to define how yours is going to look. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Let me say that again. Stop using someone else's journey and someone else's process to define how yours is going to look. Yours may look the same, yours may feel the same, yours may be completely different. Your goals that you see for yourself may be in that person that you see doing whatever they're doing. But the heights and limitations that you're going to reach is going to be completely different because who you are and what you bring to the table is a different ball game. Say it with me. Even though it's saturated, even though this person already has done it, even though this person is already taken over in this aspect, who I am and what I bring to the table is a different ball game. Point blank dot period. Because it's true. You have to start recognizing the things that you have that make you who you are. The same way that you're so quick to tell your man when he's not acting right. Oh, you want to play? Oh, so you want to play? You want to act like you don't know what I bring to the table. You want to act like that. I'm just not over here changing your life. Oh, you want to play, play. All right, keep playing with me. I'm going to show you. Is anybody that you be so quick to shoot that out your mouth to tell somebody in a relationship when they're not treating you right is the same way you should be so quick to tell yourself that when you start to compare yourself and compare your process to somebody else's. I bring something different to the table. There is not another me. There is not another me no matter where you go. I am different. And because of my differences and because of the things that I went through during my process, it has helped me develop in recognizing who I am, the things that I know that I can endure because of my process, and how strong I am and how talented and gifted that I am because when I was going through that I proved myself and God showed me wait a second sis you're stronger than you think wait a second sis you're smarter than you think wait a second bro you got more than you think that you have so start recognizing it I had to remember that everyone's process is different and I may not like the, the terms and the things that I have right now, but what I have learned is that things that I have been through that I used to cry about and say, God, why me? I now find myself turning around and saying, thank you, God, because even in those moments, you still showed me something about myself that I never knew. You showed me something about myself that I don't think I would have been able to understand and grasp fully. I wouldn't have went through this particular process. You showed me who you were and you showed me that even though I'm going through all these other things, intentional, unintentional that I put myself in sometimes, that through all of that, you still have an abundance of love and blessings still left to provide for me. The world is humongous. The world is humongous. There are billions of people in the world. We know this. But there's only one you. There is only one you. They can even have the same name. They could be born in the same day. But there is only one you. And while it may not feel fun now, and while it may seem unfair sometimes, and you may get a little frustrated or a lot frustrated thinking about, why am I still here? 
Like, ah! like you just go on a tangent sometimes and just so angry at your life right now. But take a moment to just step back and say, what do I need to learn in this moment? What, and I, I know this is really hard to do, but I, I really encourage you to try it. To just take a step back and say, what is this moment trying to teach me? What am I learning in this process about myself that I didn't know beforehand? It's just like when I was being bullied. I used to try to change so much about myself and so much about my personality to say, well, maybe if I change the way I say this or the way I act in this way, maybe they won't make fun of me anymore. Or maybe if I try to fit in, if I could just get in with that popular girl group, then maybe they'll like start to respect me a little. And instead of just taking that moment to recognize, there is something great about you, right about you, that they realize that you don't see yet. And that's why they're trying to put you in that corner. That's why they're trying to box you. We talked about that. Another shameless plug. Don't let somebody box you. And don't let somebody else's process box you and put you in this place where you feel like your value diminishes or you're never going to amount to that level because it's not true. Stop trying to reach to their level and say, I'm gonna get to my own level. I'm gonna create a whole new domain, a whole new level of how to do it. I'm going to do it in the way that you didn't even see it happening, but just know that I got it done, period. Because my process has taught me and it has got me to a different place. So now that when I'm ready to receive the places that God has set in place for me, my confidence level to take on this task has completely changed. Because now during my process, I have learned things about myself that have made me stronger and more prepared to take on the next journey in my life. That's it. Recognize that you're um kind of a big deal. You're a lot of a big deal, okay? You're a big deal, sweetie. What's big, sweetie? Like you're that, like that. that's you. I'm, I'm big, I'm a big deal, I'm a big deal. And while I may not get to the place, like how you got to the place, I'ma get to the place and I'ma reach a higher limit because who I am and what I bring to the table is a whole different ball game. Point blank. Say it with me, kids. Period. Good job. Good job. <laughs> it's for you and that's for me. You get what I'm saying? It's for both of us. It's for both of us to understand and let that resonate. And take your joy back. Take your joy back. Stop robbing your joy from you comparing your life to someone else's. I've never done this before, but I really felt in my hearts of hearts and in my spirit to just do this with you today because I just want to. And different ball game here, people. Different ball game. I just want to honestly pray with you. And no, 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 no. Some people here praying like, oh, okay, it's my time. No, it's not your time. Your time is right now. Right now. Sit down. Give me a hand. Give me a hand. I, I said give me a hand. Thank you. But on a serious note, I really feel led to just pray for whoever is watching this video and just to give you that word of encouragement that you need to hear sometime. We're gonna do a quick prayer. It's gonna be one, two, three, like when you're about to eat type prayer. It's gonna be a fast prayer. But I would really encourage you to just close your eyes and meditate on what I'm praying for you. This is us holding hands, okay? Lord, I just ask that whoever is watching this, whoever has tuned in, that you are able to reach them in a place that no other person can, oh Father God. Lord, I just ask that you let them see their value, their worth, that it does not diminish or grow small because of where they are right now in comparison to somebody else, but it just lets them know that they have a greater purpose on their life, their journey, their process, that you are with them every step of the way, even when it doesn't feel like it. And I ask that even in this moment that you give them the peace. I speak peace over their life. I speak joy over their life. I speak understanding and knowledge for where they are right now. And in this moment, give them the appreciation that they need and the love and the warmth that they need and the guidance that they need to help them recognize what a beautiful, amazing person they are that you have created and you have placed on this earth for a plan and for a reason, that you have purpose in them. They have purpose and they have value to their life and they will do great things according to your name because this process is refining them and making them into the royalty that you have created them to be. And in your mighty name we pray, amen. That's it.
God's got you. No matter what you're going through, He knows you by name. And your purpose is greater than the struggle that you're going through now. And don't feel like you're never going to get anywhere. Because it's not true. It's a lot. It's a lot. Okay, sorry. If you like my lip look in this video, just feel free to shameless plug, go to my other video and go watch it. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I love you guys so much. Stay blessed, stay beautiful, stay happy, and live your life. Enjoy your process, switch it up. What is it again? What I bring to the table is a completely different ball game. Bye, guys. Love you.